Edimax router uh, for uh, as a range extender, WISP or uh, a client bridge etc. So first what you got to do is uh, connect the router to a pow uh, power <coughs> Connect the uh, router with the power cable and provide it power and uh, connect uh, a LAN cable in the LAN port 1 to your P uh, PC uh, that means connect your PC and your router via LAN cable the LAN cable should be in LAN port 1, 2, 3 or 4 not in the WAN port or it can be in the WAN port I have not tried it yet but for me it works uh, uh, on the LAN port 1 so this page will pop up wait a second I should close Kaspersky this page will pop up no matter what you do when you connect your uh, Admex router to your computer no matter which uh, site you open this page will pop up if your Admex router is not set up so you will click get started uh, by default it cho uh, chooses itself it selects itself as a router if you want a different mode you can select from here uh, you can create a access point you can create a range extender all shown diagrammatically with visual reference here you can see a wireless bridge uh, let me tell you first I have already tried this router as a range extender and it works pretty well with the uh, Wi-Fi devices like mobile tablets etc but it can also work with LAN devices like consoles uh, and smart TVs I have tried this my router was already set up and I connected it to my PC which has only one LAN port and my PC automatically connected to internet via the router using the range extender and they were connected via LAN cable so LAN cable works on range extender as well according to my testing and here as you can see you can connect, uh, set up it as a WISP ok let's try setting it up as a range extender it will search for nearby <coughs> access points we will choose Trojan V3 we will name it uh, we will name the uh, range ex extender SSID as Trojan and it will extend the SSID uh, Trojan V3 the security key which we will input will be of Trojan V3 this is some random number I'm going to cut this part so now we have input the SSID of the router as a range extender and the password of SSID which we want to extend so as you can see the connection test is complete and now it can uh, uh, obtain IP address automatically click next uh, back up this configuration if you want to but otherwise it is totally fine and now you have a, a range extender with the SSID name of Trojan and Wi-Fi password this so guys this is it now you have set up a uh, a uh, 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 edimax router as a range extender so all done it is now applying settings password which you have to enter it should be of uh, 
uh, SSID which you want to extend and not the SSID uh, which you uh, which will be on the new uh, router so uh, that is for uh, so that the admx router can uh, input the password in your old router which uh, you want to extend the range of and gain connection and spread the connection uh, broadcast the connection via its antenna so that the range could be extended so now uh, as you can see uh, the admx router has now been set up uh, and so Hope this video helps you guys in setting up the Edimax router as a range extender. It is a pretty good value for as a range extender as it costs only around 2000 bucks, 2000 Indian rupees and uh, works pretty well, has a long range. Uh, I've tried this in my house and I get signal everywhere from this router and extends the signal pretty good too. So guys, I recommend this Edimax router to everyone. and like subscribe and share and hope this video helped you thank you and have a great day